right now on Tukonk Sport Fishing TV. It's all about inshore fishing. Today, it's all about the flats boats. Hey! Oh my God. This time around, Jack has some clients coming in looking to do some flats fishing, as well as chase the ever sought after Florida tarpon. Come with two cocks and catch big tarpon. Dude, Bring this is what it's about right here, bro. Dude, that's so sick. Doesn't get any better than this, baby. The Keys offer a wide range of different types of fishing, and Jack and the crew love switching things up from the typical offshore day. There you go, she's tired, she's tired. <laughs> Plus, these fish can definitely put up a fight. Hang on, stop, stop, stop. Hang on, hey, get the line off the boat. My name is Captain Jack Carlson. This is my tackle shop. And this is my fleet of yellow fins that make up two conch sport fishing charters here in Marathon, Florida Keys. I work here with my sons Austin, Tucker, and JC, along with my whole crew of top-notch captains. Dude, this is real deal, son. Let's this is real deal. Woohoo! Got him! My wife even has her own store right down the street. And one thing I've learned after doing this for 23 years is you never know what's going to happen next. This segment's brought to you by Aquarium Encounters. Immerse yourself at Aquarium Encounters. Today, the two conks crew will be focusing on inshore and flats fishing. Grass flats provide the ideal habitat for some of Florida's most sought after species. And today, the crew is targeting bonefish and tarpon. Well guys, today, it's all about the flats boats. We got our 17, 21, 26s. They're gonna be tackling bonefish and tarpon. And I gotta head offshore, so let's see what they get. Alrighty guys, catch them up. Once out on the flats, the game plan is simple. Chum the waters, sit back, and be patient. Oh, he's eating all his freebies I'm throwing in. That's why you gotta keep chumming. Need that scent to go out there, because the bonefish have like a really good sense of smell. So all this current's pushing all that smell across the flat. Eventually they make their way up. Doesn't take long for the action to start picking up. High five. Shortly after, the bonefish really start biting. Hey! Got him on! Hi! Got him. <laughs> Put him in the well. <laughs> Seeing a little shadow come through, cast it right on his nose, and he ate you know, in a matter of seconds. Yeah, they're there, they're starting to chew now. Well, there's like three following him. Mm -hmm. Ah, get back here! Yeah. Oh, you go. Hey, you got that little line. Okay. Nice. Get him, oh. get him. Oh my God. Get him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can throw him in? Yeah? Yeah. No! <laughs> Flat fishing is a lot different than offshore and you just got to know what you're doing and where to be at the right times. There's like a school of like 15 bonefish just came up and they just went crazy. Half of them split to uh, shallow, half of them split out to the deep. He just ate. <laughs> Sharks. Jason, get the net. Jason, get the net. Those aren't all bonefish. Dude, that was Ooh. a school of 20 bonefish. 20 bonefish. Dude, look at the sharks all fired up. 
Biggest school I've seen on this flat yet. Hooked up, had four sharks on him, and he just booked it to the boat because he knew where the safest place was. Yo, dude. Keep, keep, keep it quiet, don't tell anybody. If you want to come scoot next to me, we just had a school of 20 bonefish come up. No way. Yeah, if you want to come post up here, we're sitting in this deep, but dude, we just had 20 of them come up in front of the boat. How many did you get? Uh, JC broke off, so I only had one. First one spit, cast again, and the second one ate, but dude, there's like 20 of them roaming around. This segment's brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine, go boldly. The Two Conks crew is hitting the flats hard, and so far they've landed a few bonefish, but the bite is just turning on. All right, we're out here, we're just tying a couple knots. We had a couple fish cut us off, but we just got done. We saw about eight or 10 bonefish swing on by. We casted at one, we ended up hooking up with one, got them to the boat there, and ended up getting them on in. So it was a great day out here on the flats, man. We uh, gonna try to hook a couple more and keep her going. So yeah, I'm gonna start fishing these edges now on the flats. It seems like lately these bonefish have been sitting a little deeper. They're not so much right on top of the flat where they normally are. You know, they're sitting in, in this deeper edge. So we'll start fishing the edges, see how it goes from there. Oh my God. <laughs> Two sensors got hooked up on bonefish. There you go. Woo. Bro, we got it, dude. <laughs> silver on top. Gorgeous fish. After a ton of catch and release action with bonefish, it's time to switch things up and head in toward the bridges to look for some fighting tarpon. Tarpon can only be fished recreationally here in Florida. And because of their stamina and strength, they're considered one of Florida's premier game fish. Primarily found in shallow coastal waters and estuaries, bridges are often a great place to find tarpon as well because the structure provides ambush points, current, and access to deeper water. I'm gonna tie some 40 pound on these. I think there's 50. 40 will get the bite a little better. Pitch some mullet out in the waiting game. Let their mullet do their thing, and once we hook up, you know, we'll throw the hook and get going. How old did you say they were, these big guys? 20, 30 years old? Yeah, just about 20, 30 years old. And you know, the smaller ones put on a better show. They get a little bit more jumps out of them. Those big ones tend to get a little lazy, don't jump as much. For good times, come with two cocks and catch big tarpon. I came out here last week for uh, for the first time tarpon fishing with two cocks. And that was my first time to ever tarpon fishing. I've never done it before in my life. Typically your better tarpon fishing is either early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Once that sun comes straight up and the water gets hot, they kind of turn off. There he is. There you go, there you go. Nope, broke the line. I see it. That's a big tarpon right there. I saw the tarpon start jumping up, going after the mullet. He was jumping through the water, and then when he went, he just grabbed it and took the line and everything and snapped it right clean. We were getting bit off, but we were bringing up cut lines, so I think a cuda kept eating us. And uh, on the other side of the fleet, the smaller boat's getting hooked up with tarpon. The 21 lost theirs, the 17 still fighting theirs. So we're gonna move down to where the action is. So we got set up and we're probably fishing for about 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Finally we got hooked up and we weren't sure if it was a shark or what. Get him, Manny! But uh, we chased him down, came off the anchor, chased him down, and right before we came to the bridge, he jumped and it was a tarpon, so we got on him and we followed him through the bridge. On one section of the bridge, the pilings actually have a split in them, and uh, that tarpon knew right where to go, and he went right through them. Is he through the middle? Yeah. Me and Manny made the split decision whether to pass the rod under the bridge or, or tie it to a life jacket, and we passed it under, hopped up on the piling, we passed the, the rod under. Jordan, you good? You want me to do something? Yeah, go grab the rod and pass it back. All right. He went underneath, he went around. He knew exactly where to go. Grab the rod, 
grabbed it, but apparently got hooked on something else and we ended up breaking them off after I tried to swim the rod back through, <laughs> which was unsuccessful, but hey, we tried. Jordan. <laughs> That's commitment. <laughs> That level of commitment, man. I don't know if I would do it. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. All I know is that reel's gotta go in for service now, or that thing's gonna lock up and be a dead one. Hey, that might be the only chance we had. But we broke them off. I looked at Mandy, I was like, I don't know what to do, I don't know. But it was crazy, and it was awesome. And they did good. So we're gonna get set back up and throw the anchor in. We're gonna get Manny on another one of these bad boys. Nobody said tarpon fishing was gonna be easy. And unfortunately, that wasn't going to be the only rod that got wet today. again and um, started chasing it. it was doing actually pretty well and then uh, he went right underneath one of the other anchors on the boats and uh, lost the rod too so um, we tried but <laughs> another one down <laughs> closed captioning is brought to you by Furuno Marine Electronics. We got that Furuno radar on. I think they're marking birds already. This is what you're looking for right here. They're busting, they're busting, they're coming in, they're coming in. That's gotta be the biggest black fin you've ever got. Furuno Marine Electronics, demand the best. Two Cock Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Gills, performance fishing gear and apparel. Furuno Marine Electronics, demand the best and Yellowfin, build your legacy. This segment's brought to you by Yellowfin. We got a fleet of Yellowfins. The coolest thing about owning the boat is the camaraderie that this group brings. Two cops! Yellowfin, build your legacy. The two conks crew has shifted from flats fishing over to chasing tarpon around the bridges. And after a few mishaps and plenty of broken lines, over with Captain Mike, they've hooked up to something promising. Go, 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 go. Going out. Let him go, D. Let him go a little bit. Let him swim. Let him swim. Let him swim. There we go. There we go. There we go. Run out. Run out. Run out. Go off. Go off. There he is right there. Nice flip, nice fish. Nice, nice fish, fish, dude. He's gonna nice come fish, gulp. He's gonna gulp. Good job, dude. Nice work, bro. Woo! That's a good fish, buddy. You got, you got, you got, you got. You know, as you can see it. It's insane, man. These fish never want to leave the structure. You know, once you hook up, it's pretty much 50-50 whether you're going to land these fish around these bridges. And there's not much you can do, you know? They're so big, you just got to kind of let them do their thing. But sometimes these fish just got a mind of their own. You know, they'll wad up with the pack of fish and start following the packs and stay with the packs. And the packs are usually hanging around the bridge the whole time. This one's semi-cooperating. He's kind of coming out and staying off the bridge for a little bit, but then he wants to go right back into it, so. You know, that's all we're doing right now. We're just trying to get this fish out into open waters. But once he's around these bridges, man, it's just, you kind of get sick to your stomach. And it's, uh, but that's the whole point of this, man. This is, this is why we do it. So hopefully we can land him, get him in the boat, and get that shot. Coming up for air. Yeah, so, uh, so what these tarpon like to do is, they're, you know, they're starting to get exhausted. These fish gotta come up and get a breath of air. You know, you'll sit there and fight this fish, son, you'll see him come up and just kind of daisy chain roll a little bit. Do this quick little roll, get a bite of air. But the problem with that, every time they get a bite of air, they get, that, they get a little chunk of energy back. That's just it, you just gotta wear them out, you know? As soon as you hook up on them, they're real green, full of power, but you just gotta wear them out, you know? It's, this isn't quick fishing, man. These are, you know, these are fish that you wanna catch one time. You know, you don't wanna sit there and fight these things all day long, it's like, it's like a trophy, you know, one and done. But yeah, it sucks, they get a breath of air, man. It just shoots your hopes right down. <laughs> 
There you go, there you go. Right there, kid, right there. Hold him there. Come on, baby, get out in that open water. I'm hoping once he gets to the end of this, he's gonna freak out and spin this way. We got him. He gone, dude. He gone, dude. Come on, get out there. There you go, good job. There he goes. There he goes. Keep pinching so we don't wrap us around that wall. There you go, there you go, he's turning. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Nice fish, dog. This is what we needed. She hooked good though, dog. She won't jump, that's it. She won't jump anymore. She's still kicking hard. Oh my God. She's all blacked out on the back too. Yeah, cat. Good job, dude. <laughs> That a boy, that a boy. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, Doc. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, don't, yeah. She's shaking her head. Oh, it's going under. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Go back that way, go back that way. Good. There you go, she's tired, she's tired. There you go, good, good, good. You're good, you're good. She's coming my way. You better land this fish. This segment is brought to you by Gills. Let me tell you what, if you haven't got your Gills on yet, you gotta get it. Two, Two. Two. Gills, performance fishing gear and apparel. After a long day, the 26 is hooked up on a tarpon. See, that's so sick. And after an extremely long fight, it seems like this fish is finally starting to wear out. Fighting this tarpon right now, and uh, you know we're trying to get her wore out. Um, you know, we want to try to get her up where she's starting to get on her side, where we're able to actually grab that leader and kind of bring her to us with the leader. But um, she's just being so green right now. You just get that funny feeling though, like sometimes you can grab a leader and you can feel like it's going to break. And we're not quite at that point yet. But she's starting to do that roll, so, um, so we're close. We're close. She's got to stay hooked, so. There we go. There we go. Uh, just hold her. Just hold pressure. Yeah, just hold pressure. Just hold pressure. There you go. There you go, there you go. Good, 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 good. Keep pressure up, keep pressure up, keep pressure up. Don't reel down, just keep pressure up. Hang on, stop, stop, stop. Lift, 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 lift. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hey, get the line off the boat. Go inside of her mouth, go inside her mouth. Give it to me. Bring her to me, bring her to me. There you go. There you go. Guys get this beautiful tarp into the boat and leader. And up close, these fish are mesmerizing. The rest of the crew wasn't doing too shabby either. I've never oh, seen one this big. Hardest I've, I've ever seen. I've ever seen. She was really, really wanted to catch a tarpon in the last inning. And uh, we got a bite literally as everyone was pulling their anchor. And it wasn't a tarpon, but it was the biggest jack I've ever seen. I've I told her, screw a tarpon, you got the biggest jack. <laughs> fights way harder. It doesn't jump, but it fights just as hard, pound for pound. Heavy, One of the hardest heavy. fighting fish. We got this fish out of the bridge, got him up on the flats, got the boat stuck. She was running a skinny. About an hour into an hour and a half, she's staying green, 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 and all of a sudden she started getting tired, started rolling on us, getting on her side, which is what we wanted. Hook stayed perfect set. Bro, we got it, dude. We jumped on her quick, stayed on it, stayed on it. D got on it good. Austin drove the boat perfect. We were able to land this fish, get her in the water. And, uh, you know, she's still juiced up, bro. She still wants to run. 
But uh, this is why we do this right here, dude. This is real deal, son. Lift, this is real lift, deal. Lift, 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 lift. Is that your first? <laughs> is that your first day? It's my first big tarpon. Yep. Fishing out here with Captain Austin, Captain Mike with two conks. Doesn't get any better than this, baby. Woo! Cap! Cap! All right, Mike, I think the fish is ready. Yeah, dude, we got our reduce back up. We got, we got some life back in her, and uh, it'll get good release, and uh, she's gonna survive, dude. So I think we can let her go. Any day out in the water is a good day. And after some action-packed inshore fishing, as well as fighting some of the mighty tarpon, it's an experience these clients won't soon forget. And it's an experience Captain Mike definitely won't forget anytime soon. Because just two days later, he received a call from the FWC about one teeny tiny issue. Hey Michael, it's Lieutenant Payne, Florida Fish and Wildlife. Hello? Uh, is this Lieutenant Payne? Speaking. Lieutenant, Captain Mike here. Hey. How we doing, How man? How you doing? Good, just returning your call. Uh, look at you making some big stinky up in Tallahassee. I see that, man, I see that. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> well, uh, it was for, for one of our buddies, it was a fish of a lifetime and uh, it was a nice fish. How it went down is we were filming, so we did a quick drip shot where we kind of just lifted her up, got the shot and put her back in. At the end of the day, it's still lifting it out of the water and I get it. But I mean, yeah. she's- well, I'm gonna give you a warning. I'm okay. not gonna you take it. It is a misdemeanor, believe it or not. I know. All right, thanks right. for getting back to me. No worries, man, I appreciate All right. it. All right, it's all good. All right, see you. bye-bye. So take it from the two Cox crew. Tarpon are great fighters, but once you've got them landed, do yourself a favor, leave them in the water for your pictures. 